To try to increase uh, members during the pandemic proved really difficult. Uh, there was less taxes in the ranks. To actually to get people to speak to people was really hard. It was traditionally around 50 members. Um, we, we thought we could uh, at least push that tenfold or more. One of the main issues that we had in trying to increase the size of the membership is we don't have a static workplace. So what we decided was that we would uh, push for, for an SVQ course within Glasgow City Council for taxi and private hire drivers. Uh, that was successful and through that it also proved to be a great recruiting tool for the branch and uh, the branch now stands at around 500 members. They've been exemplary in how they've reached out and organised that, that, that membership now to, to a degree that they've got a collective voice, they've got a a voice that they're campaigning, not just industrially within you know, the, the taxi drivers, but politically. The Covid financial support um, was uh, in big part to unite campaigning and lobbying uh, the government. Uh, we, we met with Kate Forbes and we met with a few other um, important uh, officials involved in the, the setting up of the, the grant funding for taxi drivers and taxi operators. Um, it, was, it was a real lifeline through the pandemic. The increased membership gives us a seat at the table uh, with other stakeholders that previously we didn't have until we had the Unite the Union name to back us up. But guys who were against the Union, if you like, or were apprehensive about joining are now starting to hear the benefits of being a member of the CAP section. There's some of the stuff that our branch did was quite heartwarming and quite it was the good in society, not, not just the good within our members in the night, you know, good people um, reaching out and doing, you know, brilliant things. And to give back to the community, they asked if there was any way that they could help and were really willing to do so. So what they did was, they spoke to them at the food bank and they said it would be really good if they could go and pick up stuff from the supermarkets and bring them back to the community centre. So that would be a bonus for the community. It makes you proud as a Scottish Secretary that that's your branch, that's your members. You know, I can't speak highly enough for them. We're absolutely delighted that we've been recognised as well as our members.